Texas. Then the very next week, we had a less than mediocre showing against South Florida. So I immediately caught a flight to Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and met up with the great one, Nick Saban, baby. And now, do we to put all the pieces together, but still an unfinished product, still more work to put in. But I, Sonny Black, said, hmm. We got a bye week. Let me make an appearance on my brother's show, Mr. Kangaroo Black. Now I'm here. You see me in the flesh. <laughs> but let me get down to business. The haters, the non-believers, they had they counted us out, had us dead, buried and gone. But my Alabama Crimson Tide then rose from the pits of hell and whooping everybody's ass. <laughs> they depended on those Texas A&M Aggies to give us our second L and eliminate us from the college football playoffs. No, and uh -uh, didn't happen, baby. We went down to Kyle Field in the Aggies' backyard and whooped their ass. <laughs> Don't you just love it? Don't you just love it? And then guess what they did? They depended on the mighty Tennessee Volunteers to give us that second L. And once again, eliminate us from the college playoff, playoff football contention. And, and didn't happen, baby. But I want to commend those Tennessee Volunteers for their effort. And I want to thank the Tennessee Volunteers for what they do for my Alabama Crimson Tide program by allowing them to whoop their ass every damn year. No matter who your coach is, <laughs> Tennessee, they all hyped up about old Josh Hype. But I'm here to tell you, when you look at Josh Hype, you looking at Bush Jones, baby. <laughs> but guess what? In honor of the Tennessee Balls, and, and, and to show them that I appreciate them for what they do for my Alabama Crimson Tide, I want to sing a song for them. And this is a song that they hold uh, uh, near and dear to their heart, okay? So I'm going to sing that song for them, you know, and I hope that they enjoy it. And if you're watching this video, I hope y'all enjoy it too. So here we go. Let me get my voice right. <coughs> uh, <coughs> here we go. Wish that I was on old Rocket Top down on the Tennessee Hills. Ain't no smoggy smoke on Rocket Top. Ain't no telephone bills. Once I had a girl on Rocket Top, half bear, the other half cat. Wild as a mink, sweet as a soda pop, I still dream about that. Rocket Top, you will always be home sweet home to me. Good old Rocket Top. Rocket Top, damn Rocket Top. <laughs> Why y'all fools throwing damn goalposts in the Tennessee River? How about you throw that damn song in there with it? And while you at it, throw smoke ass in the damn river too. Shit, as a matter of fact, throw the whole state of damn Tennessee in the Tennessee damn river. Because guess what? Me and my brother Kangaroo Black don't give a damn about nothing but the tide, baby. <laughs> we don't give a damn about nothing but the tide. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Old Tennessee, they came out in the first half and was putting no whooping on my Alabama Crimson Tide. My Alabama Crimson Tide 
And the great one had him food. Because guess what? It was planned that way, baby. It was planned that way. <laughs> it was planned for y'all to score 20 points in the first half. It was planned for y'all to go in halftime with a 13-point lead. It was planned to let y'all score a touchdown right before the half. So we can come out <laughs> in the second half and take all your joy away. <laughs> and that's exactly what we did. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Love it when the plans come together, baby. Yes, sir. The great one, Nick Saban, thought of that all by himself. And y'all thought he was washed up, baby. <laughs> y'all thought my Alabama Crystal Tide was dead and gone. Y'all thought my quarterback couldn't get the job done. Where's all the haters and naysayers that was asking the question, who your quarterback? And my quarterback whipping all y'all asses. Yes, 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 he is. And now, and now, they, the naysayers, the non-believers, are depending on Brian Kelly and his LSU kittens to eliminate my Alabama Crimson Tide from playoff contention. Aggies failed. Volunteers failed. Now they depending on the LSU Tigers. Mm, 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 mm. Well, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen to those LSU Tigers. I'll tell you what's going to happen. Dallas Turner going to happen. Chris Braswell is going to happen. Okay, okay. Jahad Camel is going to happen. Trezman Marshall is going to happen. Kool-Aid McKinstry is going to happen. Terry on Honor is going to happen. Malachi Moore. It's going to happen, okay? Caleb Downs is going to happen. Jahar Campbell is going to happen. Uh, maybe I already named him, but uh, all of those guys is going to happen, okay? Jaheim Otis is going to happen. Tim Keenan is going to happen. Tim Smith is going to happen. I just want you to know that. Justin Aborgie. It's going to happen. That is the defense that Devils LSU Tigers has got to face. The greatest defense in the SEC in 2023, baby. <laughs> and guess what? You got to face Jalen Milro, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Jalen, make it happen, Milro. You got to face. Jermaine Hans Burton, baby. Mm, 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 mm. It's going to be a tough task for you, LSU Tigers. Now, I know you got Jaden Daniels. Let Jaden Daniels come through, to bring his little ass through that ALB gap. We're going to plant his ass in the dirt, baby. And he won't be getting up just to let you know, okay? But anyway, that's all I got to say about them LSU Tigers right now. Before I get out of here, I got one more thing to say. And this is going back to the Tennessee Vols. Mr. Tennessee Ball, you are stripped of your 2023 October Championship. You are now currently the halftime champions, baby. <laughs> it was playing that way. It was playing that way. So halftime champion, enjoy the rest of your season. <laughs> Roll damn time. I got the whole world. In my hands, I got the whole wide world. In my hands, I got... We need to talk about Saban for a minute. I'm about tired of him. He needs to retire. 
you. That's right. He just needs to go on, get away from us, because I've had it with him. Just get in your $18 million vacation home you just bought and retire. We've had enough of you and your, and your referee whispering that you do. Just go on. Get out of here. I'm not going to.